And thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 6. I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Mark Curtis, but on this one year anniversary, there are signs of progress for those who were rescued from Afghanistan, including 2,000 Afghan refugees who now call Arizona home. Tonight, Team 12's Joe Dana has updates on how they're doing and what they still need. Because many of these refugee families had at least one family member working for the U.S. military, many of them speak English, and that's helped them immensely as they've tried to integrate into American life. They were part of a historic withdrawal by the U.S. military, now living among us, sometimes in the shadows. Many of them are simply grateful to have housing and to be in a safe place. Most of the 2,000 Afghan refugees placed throughout the state declined to identify themselves to news media because they still have relatives back home whose lives might be in danger. I'm worried about their lives. But if you have spoken out in the last year, like Fahima, one of 60 Afghan women enrolled at ASU. I want to help women to know about their rights, to live independently, and uh, to be treated equally. And this Afghan accountant, employed at the Sheraton Hotel, who told us he's trying to get his wife and children to the States. I miss him a lot. It's families. Joanne Morales is the director of refugee programs at Catholic Charities, one of eight organizations statewide supporting what she calls the most urgent refugee crisis in her 20 years of work. We've seen grandparents, um, lots of small children and babies even born on the military bases. Morales credits public school employees for adapting so quickly to the needs of school-aged Afghan children. A lot of credit is due to the teachers in the schools supporting the children that were rapidly placed. How can Arizonans help? Morales says ask your local school district if they need support with tutoring or school supplies. And you can contact one of Arizona's refugee charities to volunteer time or money. In many respects, one year after this dramatic evacuation, the work is just beginning. Now we've put links to the charities supporting Afghan refugees on our website right now in this story. Joe Dana, 12 News.